back on the trail soon. Yay! So excited! Zero shoes instead of Crocs. Okay, back on trail. My daughter was nice enough to drive me here. It's starting to rain. <laughs> Might want to now get out the raincoat. We got the rain, the pack cover on. Uh, it's a little cooler up here in PA than it was in Jersey or actually down in Baltimore. Yeah, Spent a night. came from Maryland. <laughs> yep, came from Maryland. And we sadly just had a creepy guy. Um, out when we pulled up so that was not yeah he pulled up and he was asking us a lot of questions and then he said well maybe yeah, I'll see you later I'll see you later um so a little creeped out um yeah I didn't care for that it was <laughs> yeah. off yeah it's kind of dark in there so yeah, it's, it's like <laughs> yeah. uh so yeah but we're yeah so I'm excited to get back on trail hoping the ankle is sore I'm not gonna lie but I'm hoping to get sign and we'll show you across the street very busy road as you can hear <laughs> okay current trail very dark and foresty in here. Very beautiful. Okay, so it's currently raining um, in PA and storming. Um, as you can hear, the traffic, that road was really scarily dangerous. And we had that creepy man encounter. Um, I hope I don't see him again. I hope he wasn't serious. Um, so that's a little worrisome. And my daughter, I know that was very hard for her to leave me after that encounter. So I feel bad for her. So sorry, Danielle. Um, I hopefully he was harmless. Um, he seemed, I don't know what, I don't know what he seemed, but um, it's very beautiful in here. Again, you know, I love the, I love the rain. It is making it a little creepier that we had that encounter though, but the flowers are so beautiful in here. It's uh, good to be back on trail. Um, yeah, so, okay, I'll show you the flowers. Okay, so I'm very familiar with the uh, Lehigh Valley and um, the northern areas of Pennsylvania. I've spent most of my hiking time there. And obviously last year I hiked um, that whole section of the Appalachian Trail. Um, sorry, the trail is muddy, so if I'm looking down and away from the camera, that's why. And um, it... Uh, so this is going to be really a cool experience for me because PA is where I grew up. So this is most of my childhood. I moved a lot. So I lived in Florida. I lived all up and down the East Coast. Um, if you watch my first video and my Y video, you'll know that, you know, I, I, um, um, you know, was a foster kid. So I moved a lot, but I lived in Coatesville, Pottstown area, Spring City, um, Darby, PA, Philly. Um, lots of places, um, Devon, Stratford, um, a lot of really nice places in PA. And um, so I'm very, very familiar with something that people will know of. Rocksylvania. <laughs> there are plenty of rocks in PA.
Okay, so it's the end of my first day on back on trail, and um, it was a very good day. It really, it really went well. Um, we had that creepy encounter at first, but I kind of held back and waited for a few through hikers to come um, because the guy kind of had said he'd see me later, and um, that really kind of spooked me. So um, I waited for them, and they ended up being really nice people, and they to help me out let me hang out with them and then we ended up camping here uh they were taking an easier day because they had done the four state challenge so they're still recovering from that and um yeah so it was really a wonderful wonderful you know restart um again just four miles so taking it easy on the leg i sat i i soaked my feet um, I couldn't get my whole like leg in, which I would have liked to there um, because the temperature was perfect. Cool, but not so cold you couldn't stand it. And um, so I did that and we have a, they built a campfire. I gave them some dryer lint and a fire starter and um, we got that going pretty fast. And now everybody's kind of chilling and getting ready to go to sleep for the night. So I thought I'd come out and just update you. Um, we did pass the Deer Licks Shelter, which is where I had hiked to from Harper's Ferry, like when I did my section there. So, um, and I was just telling them that it has a his and her, well, not a his and hers. Um, there's two shelters, which I'll show you, and um, it's for snoring and non-snorers. So it's kind of, it's kind of funny, you know. Um, I don't know that they designated that way, but that's pretty much what, when I was here, um, we had talked about is that, okay, the snores go in one and the non snores in the other. Um, I ended up tenting, so, because, you know, I wanted to be in my tent. Um, but they, they, um, had, you know, slept in the shelters. It was, and it was just kind of a joke. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's a great end of the night. Um, I'll put the mile markers that reached. I'm going to try to be a little bit better about that. Um, is, but, you know about putting mile markers and the actual mileage on the screen so you know where I'm at especially now that the hike has has um you know changed um for the injury but um so so far four miles it you know there were times going downhill that the pack um weight you know I could I could tell and and I would say that the, the pain on the leg got you know more than I'd like um, but, but doable. There's, there's no swelling in the leg. The leg looks good. So I'm pretty pleased about that. So that's a great thing. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow and just seeing what unfolds, what unfolds. I'm not going to push too, too hard. I'm going to take, um, my kids advice and try to maybe reel it back. I can't make any promises. I'm going to try. The leg might just make that decision for me. So we'll see. But I am trying to strengthen it, you know, as best I can. Um, and I won't do anything that's too uncomfortable. Again, I don't want permanent damage on this leg. So, yeah, there must be a road nearby still. Um, because I just heard motorcycles go by. Um, there was gunfire earlier. Um, a lot of it. Um, I think that there's a range. They said it was a couple miles away. Um, but... Um, it's just echoes through because um, high powered rifles were allowed to be used there or something like that <laughs> so they said it was safe and I uh, took the word for it thanks for hiking with me I'm really excited to see what tomorrow brings and um, yeah this was like a really good start again um, um, I had a lot of anxiety this morning when I came out I wasn't sure what the leg was going to do and um, the train was, was forgiving. And, you know, so hopefully, you know, it's gonna, you know, re-strengthen and quickly and yeah, it, it'll go well. well. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, yeah. So good night and um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.
Okay, so I'm gonna be um, leaving both sides of my tent open tonight. Um, it's it's pretty humid, so um, it'll be kind of nice. So we like, you know, close to cowboy camping. All right, good night, sweet dreams.